Hi, Torch community. Guess what? I, I mean, I could, like, if I could ascend into the heavens right now, I am so excited to finally bring back Mindful Mondays with you, with Coach Linda. Um, so for those who have been asking yes, and being patient, thank you. Um, there's been some things you've been working on in the background that you'll probably never see, but um, in order to bring this moment to you again. And so it's been a few months, but we're back. And I want to thank you for your comments, your likes. I mean, I was surprised by the result of our previous session on mindfulness and managing stress. And I, you know, Coach Linda has gracefully come back and I'm even more so excited about our next topic. And Coach Linda and I have had a few discussions just to get ready for this moment again. And what really came out for us was this, this idea of how to be authentic in the workplace, how to bring your true self to work. Um, and a lot of women, a lot of people struggle with that. And Coach Linda, I'm so excited for these next few sessions around how to be your authentic self in the workplace. Why is this even an important topic? How, how did we get here? Hi, well, Mita and the Torch community. It's lovely to be back. I'm equally excited. And uh, how we got here. The number one challenge that still faces women in positions of leadership is the, the burning question, am I good enough? It's not just particular to women. Across, across uh, the corporates globally, research has proven, neuroscientists, Dr. Shauna Shapiro's research has proven that it is something that people, male and female leaders, actually ask themselves a regular check-in, am I good enough? So in my coaching, what I've come across now is this whole thing of women and they need to be authentic, but how do they show up authentically in their feminine energy when they are still in very much a male-dominated role, uh, um, environment, not a role, environment. And it's all about authenticity and being true to yourself. And authenticity really in a nutshell means being real with, your, uh, with yourself and your feelings and showing up as your true genuine self because it's very exhausting to put on a mask all the time and to show up as something that you're not requires a lot of energy and focus and attention and it distracts you from being bringing everything that you are to the table and also we can lose focus because we, we become less productive because we're so busy trying to be something that we think we should be when in actual fact everything that we are is enough we just need to embrace who we are and bring that authenticity forward. And so I think the topic of authenticity for me is really pertinent and talking about how to be authentic and what it does mean to be authentic. Because if you don't know self and everything starts with self, then that's your springboard to actually move forward. So I, I want to actually empower women. That's what I do in coaching is empower women to truly embrace who they are. Because we all have strengths, we all have weaknesses, we all have blind spots. But the more we know about what those are, the more we use them. We harness strengths and we turn weaknesses into strengths. And if we know what our blind spots are, we become aware of them. So when we catch ourselves doing the behavior of the blind spot, we actually stop ourselves in our track. And it all, all of those, the combination makes us truly who we are and the ability to show up genuinely and sincerely in our, in our authentic self. A great few weeks. So if you want to work with Coach Linda, come to Career, the Career Safari Coaching and you'll find an opportunity to be coached by Coach Linda. Um, and join us every Monday for the next few weeks to talk about your authentic self and how to bring it to really not just the workplace, but to, to everything that we, we do. So thank you, Coach Linda. And I'll see everyone, You're welcome. See everyone next week. Yep. Cheerio.